Hello, we are back. St. Clair College Gold versus Columbia University. We're off to an absolutely electric start here. Crypto getting a demo and a goal being got by Christian once again. Beautifully done by Christian. <laughs> a nice, excellent, simple goal. It's not going to be quite seven seconds like we saw in the previous series, but close enough to being a really fast, really simple goal. To yeah, get just, the 12, just, just 12. Just 12 seconds. You know? A little slow for him. Yeah, a little slow for him. And uh, <laughs> Maybe he's competing to see how fast he can get a goal at the start of the game, but we're going to see another one not very long after Barris finding the second goal of the series against Columbia College and St. Clair Saints gold. They're carrying that momentum. They're going for that goal at this point. They're going to make their way all the way to the grand finals at this point. And I mean, yeah. props to them. Probably. It's 2-0. And you know what they do with a lead, right, Daniel? We've seen it, I'd say, about three times now. They have the script, and they're running away with it. It's get two goals in the early game and just cruise all throughout the rest. But maybe... The script is going to be flipped to a rate here. Columbia College not letting them play back, play with a big lead, but they're still in a lead by one point. Yeah, and, the, you know, they took the script. They're tearing it up, rewriting some of the roles around. We saw a Gly score in the profile picture. Cool Pokemon, very useful. And uh, with four, we're just 30 seconds into this game, and we've already rode an emotional roller coaster up and down, and... There's still a whole lot left of this game to be played. I This is the Rocket League effect, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of things happen in a very short amount of time. We're seeing Barris go for a nice shot. Vesh trying to follow up off of it. We're going to see GSK take this one through and hopefully try to cement this one. Barris not going to get to the defense in time, unfortunately. Tying things up 2-2. Two two. Saints with th four minutes on the clock. Maybe they've met their match. Maybe. Who's to say? At this point, it's anybody's game. It's all tied Boys. up. Four, oh, nine on the clock and ticking. Only a minute in. It's two to two. This is about to be one of the highest scoring goal line games. No goalies, no defense. Let's just see who can get the better setups at this point. Yeah, let's just stand in front of each other and just keep punching until someone stops punching. And I think that's going to be the strategy for both of these teams. Coming out with the strong offense. Barris getting another demo. Christian meeting the air. Nice bump and tipping this one away. Just doing two things with one stone. Quite literally, Samba is going to demo him out as soon as he hits the ground. Samba is a murderous little car getting so many demos and playing so aggressively at the start of the series. They're going to have to sedate him or something if the Saints want to have a chance of keeping their wheels intact at the end of this game. But Vesh with a beautiful shot. Cryptic is going to get an even prettier save. As Christian takes this one into the pocket, trying to sneak this one. But we're going to see Samba clear. Wow, that ball is just riding the momentum from all these shots, ricocheting off of the roofs of these cars, hitting every corner of the map. And it's finally going to hit the ground and slow down just a little bit here in the middle as GSK takes this one towards the center. Vesh going to go for the save. It's going to miss, but thankfully so is the shot. Same now. Christian trying to turn this around into a goal for the Saints. Trying to catch this one as he meets the ground. Never mind. Going to meet it up in the air. Bouncing off of the pocket corner. Bear is going for the shot now. And it's going to find its way in with a nice follow-up from the Saints. And that was just a perfect line of events. Saints were playing so well and in tandem with each other. Beautiful shot. Going super fast as well. You love to see it. Those are the best ones to see coming. Saints now 3-2 to two against Columbia College. 3-2. to two, Time ticking faster and faster. The Saints now in the lead. Columbia College needs to get an advantage somewhere. I mean, they, they only brought this up to a one-score uh, difference at this point. So they have a lot of room to play with. We're halfway through the match at this point. The Saints... Not having an absolute blowout as they had in the first few games. They are now having a tougher and tougher time as the competition gets fiercer and fiercer. And you have to be asking yourself, when is this going to give? Is this going to be the one where they don't get the 2-0? Could this be the one that somehow Columbia turns it around? But right now, they're in the lead. Christian getting a demo. Bear is going to get a setup here, but it's back to the pocket. Columbia. Shoring up that defense, making sure that that scoreline does not go to the two-point difference. Mark Christian 
now eyeing that ball like a hawk with his new car. It's not new to us anymore. It's old, and he's experienced. He's mastered it at this point, but it looks like Columbia has mastered something of their own, and that's the defensive game. They're not letting anything through here, but slowly but surely, the St. Clair Gold team will make it through, but now they have to shore up that defense once again. Things are looking dicey. Christian finds an opening, but it's going to be blocked out once again by a 50. It's up in the air, all up in the air. Who can put it back down to earth? I don't care. It's going to be Vesh taking the ball back into his control. Christian going to be eyeing that one up, getting a setup for himself or a teammate who's to say gets cleared out. Doesn't really matter at the end of the day. It's going to be GSK going for something here. Find that ball like a hawk, like a car as a ball in a Rocket League. There's got to be some relationship there, some natural predator-prey kind of thing going on. You know, these cars are hungry for this ball. Maybe this ball is full of gasoline or whatever makes these Rocket League cars tick. That's not a very bad theory, and I think it makes quite a lot of sense. It would explain the fervor and the joy that it, the cars express whenever the ball goes into the net. Maybe it releases gas pheromones or something similar, and they just have a great time with that ball as it goes into the net. And with 30 seconds remaining, it's only a matter of time before the champions will get to take the ball home and enjoy the gas that comes from it with four goals on the board for the state's gold team and columbia college lagging behind with two looks to me like this is going to be this game going the way of st Clair saints but there's still one more they'd have to win if they want to come out on top exactly this is looking like it's going to go over to the saints i mean a demo though that could change things here but they lose the kickoff columbia college on the back foot once again even with the demo it's not going to be enough to turn things around here they need to get a goal and they need to get one quick within this 10 second mark it's got to be done soon sooner or later or else the saints are going to run away with it two seconds left on the clock i'm going to call it here this is going to be columbia college losing this game and st Clair taking the win Tick the win very comfortably. It seemed they were a little bit shaky at the start of the game, but that falls very much in line with my theory I have about basically every Saints team. Is they take the first game or two to really settle in and figure out how their opponent wants to play, and then immediately after that, once they have analyzed, they just use their abundance of experience and confidence in the game and their strategies and adapt however they feel necessary in order to come out on top in these overall in the series. As we get into this next game, Saints. If that is, is true, if my theory holds very correctly, then they took their time to figure out Columbia College, and this next game should be a lot more dominating from the Saints side. Should be, should be, but we're always surprised by the upsets, so you always have to try and keep that in mind, especially if you're the Saints. You know, the pride cometh before the fall. Oh, yeah. You don't want to get too big for your britches, as some say. And now, Christian eyeing that ball. The Saints playing patient, not overextending, but they do want to keep up that offensive pressure. That's what won them the first game. But they have to keep in mind Columbia College Got that two scoreline so quickly. They're able to even the odds faster than the Saints could react and put them in a very precarious position. But now, 0-0. Zero, zero. It's all up to the Saints to try and take themselves back into the lead right here, right now. Let's see it. Christian, he cannot find it, though, as Columbia College has a beautiful, beautiful defense. At this point in the last game... Oh, you know, Barris just kind of surprising everybody there and lining up a perfect shot off of the clear attempt coming from Columbia College. Vesh passing this one back up to Barris, and he's going to beat that, beat everybody past, shot that in a direction I didn't even think was possible <laughs> from where he was coming at that ball. And I guess that flip in the air was all he needed to get that one going where he wanted it to. With the lineup so good from Barris, he could be a barber at this point. But, but now we're going to go over to Cryptic. Damn. Finds an opening here. Christian getting a demo, trying to stop any sense of the word of an attack from Columbia College, but it's looking pretty precarious. Christian just barely getting the save out. Sambo trying to win the 50 here, going for some death from above here. Not going to quite get it. Cryptic now going for a setup of his own. They're playing pretty tricky here, trying to do some interesting shots to break through the Saints defense. 
Yeah, and the gold team, they are just playing like they're on fire right now, melting into a sword, but they have lower durability. Hopefully, that doesn't ring true for the same for our team, and a beautiful shot coming through. Christian having that ricochet bounce off of him, bounce off his teammates, and that's going to equal a beautiful shot. Look at that. Oh, off the top of his car from Barris lining that up. That would not have been possible if the both of them weren't exactly where they needed to be. Columbia College also not in the net at the time, but even if they were, since they were both attacking and both capable of taking that shot in, they would have had to make a decision, and that would have been a 50-50 chance of whether or not they were going to get the correct read, but they're definitely not going to get the correct read on whether or not they're going to get a goal there, as Barris absolutely shuts that one down. And look at him, Christian, with the bumps. He's not just good for goals, you know. He's also ready to stop anyone who tries to get goals in his or area with his team there protecting them all cryptic's gonna beat that 50 fish but no christian zooms in from the other side of the field and absolutely denies that attempt at a shot barris now is going to try to line things up fighting cryptic over in the blue pocket as we're seeing samba take things down towards the corner christian's gonna meet in there and actually take the ball away he's gonna find the boost as well trying to get all those things stolen from him but they're not going to find any success as they're going to get the demo now christian taking out samba barris is using this as an opportunity to line things up vesh taking this bouncing off the center and it's going to be lined up unfortunately they weren't ready to follow up no boost on barris at the time no boost on barris but he gets a save anyways gets the save i mean look at that cryptic going for a beautiful save as well but it's going to be Christian saving out that goal. I mean, two minutes left on the clock. Two goal lead from the Saints. Ooh. Make that one. That is a little scary. It's not just the fact that it was a goal, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to remind you, okay? It's how the goal was achieved. That was a 125 kilometer per hour shot. I believe the fastest I could at least recall was like 108. That was a absolute laser beam coming down from the ceiling. Columbia College is able to line that one up perfectly. As we're seeing Christian getting demoed now, you have your, your star of the day. And that's what I love about this team. Whoever the star of over the show it really varies day to day there's no one mvp consistently they all have such excellent skill sets and tools but it's just whatever is needed in that different day is going to be what is recognized as the most valuable in that moment right now the saints need that aggression that christian is known for and with vesh by his side they are often a completely unbeatable duo when it comes to getting those goals and we're seeing another shot coming up from christian trying to line this one up but gsk thankfully finding the save i concur with all your states there daniel but now there's only one minute and 10 seconds remaining on this game and Saints have the lead, but they want to try and secure an even bigger lead than before. One minute left on the clock. Columbia College trying to scramble, find something, anything, any scraps to try and put themselves back into this game. It's a do-or-die situation. I mean, we've been here with the Saints throughout this loser's bracket. I'm sure Columbia College has been right there with them, working through this loser's bracket, trying to make themselves feel good to try and bring themselves back here but a beautiful play by Vesh gets blocked out by Cryptic with 30 seconds remaining it's looking less and less likely for Columbia College to come back from this and I can't think of any way they could it's now or never it's do or die it's down to Vesh the last stalwart champion of the Saints to play the defense play the offense but he gets taken down but luckily he stalled just enough time for the supports to come back in eight seconds and counting on the laptop going from up above maybe you should upgrade to a desktop and Damn. maybe he'd be able to get a goal here but now that's going to be uh, no goal from colonial college and that's going to be another 2-0 from saints i don't really even have anything to say there besides let's go let's go they advance through the semifinals, finally win the losers finals and the gold team i feel like they're kind of I don't want to say surprising people today because we all know this is a very good team, but especially with the gold, with the green team lining up against them, people usually have a lot more expectations for the green team. But with the gold team really showing up today and finding their way all the way up to the losers finals at this point, I can't think there's a single person out there that's not impressed with this team and what they're doing because once again, very capable, very skilled team, but sometimes. You never really expect them to be playing this well, this consistently. Exactly. Yeah, it's just an absolute 
masterclass showcase from this gold team. They're looking mm -hmm. golden. They're the golden team going into this tournament. They're the ones we're still here watching. But we're going to have to throw it over to a very quick break, and we'll be right back with more Rocket League.